That is very, very dangerous. Because no one should be judged by the worst things people say about them on Facebook. <laughs> if I were judged by that, you'd think I was a cuck twit, <laughs> a prime example of why abortion should be more readily available, <laughs> and that I look like a distressed bird in a pet shop trying desperately to get your attention. The law. At one point, the company's national sales director even sent out an email with the unassuming subject line, huge importance. <laughs> Which reads, in part, all names must resemble real names, no obviously fake names, and I know I don't have to say this, but also never put anything in writing. <laughs> Which is an incredible thing to put in writing. <laughs> now, uh, I'm John Oliver, but you can just call me Charlotte, because I'm only putting this message on the web. <laughs> now, is uh, automated machines are actually a real problem for anyone who doesn't have an American accent here. I don't, are there any immigrants here? This is not, I'm not working for Mr. Trump. <laughs> but it does take a long time to understand, to understand exactly why Northern Ireland and Northern Ireland border is so critical here to this deal. There isn't actually a deal, it's a deal just to get to an interim period, to get to the deal. It, so you, it's fun to understand all of that if you are into masochism. <laughs> uh, Sick deck, bra. <laughs> although, although, if it was me, I'd, I'd double up on the grip tape on my top sheet so I don't slam when I go sketchy on a nose grind. I, I, I do hope you enjoyed that joke, because it took one of my writers 50 fucking minutes on the skateboarding Wikipedia page to research it. <laughs> but that's true. But... And to you, let me just say this. I do get why well, you'd be sceptical about a breakdown of your politics from someone with what I can only describe as big coloniser energy. <laughs> and also, did you know they could change their shape, colour and texture? Because they can. Take this plant here, for instance. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's a fucking octopus! The US government's history. The breakdown of stuff we've done goes something like this. 40% swig and a miss. 20% beefed it. 15% whoops. 15% whoops parentheses murders. And 10% delivered most, but not all, of the mail. And look. Both uh, uh, football fans. Yes. Uh, I should clarify, we're talking about soccer, which yes. was... They did not play any of those games for, or they, uh, they, didn't, they, 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 they kept rugby and cricket was allowed to go ahead <laughs> and football had to stop in an act of, I think, tangible class warfare. <laughs> the, uh, the beauty of comedians whenever we speak to them is that they have this remarkable ability to either not take themselves all that seriously or mm -hmm. say that they don't. Is that hard? <laughs> That's a fair hit. A passive aggressive hit, but a good one. <laughs> 83,000 excess deaths. It's like four double-decker buses driving into each other every six hours. It's 32 hot air balloons exploding every minute for a week. It's the death of Princess Diana 83,000 times. I get it. I get it. It's, it's pretty bad. I get it. We basically did it. Almost every global flashpoint can be traced back to a mustachioed British man drawing a straight line on a map going, there we go, learn to live with it. <laughs> <laughs> Eggnog isn't drink, it isn't food, I don't know what it is. Yeah. That, I, the idea that anyone would get a car for Christmas is really cause for class war. <laughs> so, I'm going to... Here we see Formosians living in freedom. Well, not freedom per se, but the point is they're not commies, and that's where my curiosity terminates. <laughs> how, how do we all seek happiness right now that isn't, at its root, fraudulent? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that was a truly depressing oh for the audience. <laughs> Look, I, I, I know that sounds dramatic, but Sarah Palin's fourth attempt at cloning herself actually has <laughs> a point there. So it's not good, but it's not as bad as it looks, which is never a satisfying thing to hear or, indeed, read above the buffet at a Golden Corral. <laughs> but, but here's the thing. This country did a truly amazing thing. Richard Nixon did a truly... Really? Wow! <laughs> History has changed! Richard Nixon did a truly... He's got nothing to say yet. He's got nothing to say. The world's so depressing, he hasn't found a way <laughs> to formulate those thoughts yet. Is he going to have an American accent, you think? Well, that's the problem. Well, not... No offence. Uh, resulting in one case where a woman was charged with trafficking herself. Which is obviously absurd, unless, that is, they were making a larger point about our collective lack of free will under capitalism. And if it is the latter, I'd say, bro, bro, not the time. Not the time, bro. You don't have anise balls? No. Here? No, right, because you value flavour. <laughs> but do, is, is there anyone here from Britain? Yes. Yeah, do you remember anise balls? I do indeed. Yeah. Were they, were they pleasant to put in your face? No, they're disgusting. No, they're <laughs> 
because Charles, a man whose face answers the question, what if two cousins had a kid, <laughs> is taking the throne at a ripe age of 73. He that tweet are exactly the sort of response that you would hope for and expect from the furry community. One person said, if schools are for academics, not fairy tales, then how come people still teach <laughs> supply-side economics? Yes, damn that unwanted creeping red tyranny. Down with those thieving imperialists. And good night to Her Majesty's subjects in Bahrain, Maldives, Rhodesia, Jamaica, Barbados, Kenya, and Uganda. Nighty night, sleepy tight. It's well targeted, fully justified fury at, to borrow a phrase, a lack of safety for the citizenry. Let's put it this way if there ever is real anarchy, it won't be poor people getting shot. Stop him. The letters kept on coming. I received another oil packet, more prayer cloths, and even, and this is true, an outline of his foot, <laughs> which I was asked to trace my foot on and mail back to him with more money. So, about marriage story, and that is only because Adam Driver can do whatever the fuck he wants. <laughs> Step on my throat, Adam Driver, you rudely large man. <laughs> Break my fingers, you brooding mountain upsetting because there's only one infectious disease that two-thirds of the world should be getting right now and that's Adam Driver fever. <laughs> Shatter my knees you fuckable redwood. <laughs> Snap off my toes you big unwashed buffalo. <laughs> but Steve Mnuchin, Treasury Secretary and objectively good-looking man, <laughs> argues that this would be a huge benefit to America's workers. We will have a one-time tax on overseas profits, which will bring back trillions of dollars that are offshore to be invested here in the United States to purchase capital and create jobs. Now, I know it was hard to pay attention to what he was saying, because you were just <laughs> automatically undressing the guy with your eyes, <laughs> and you do it whenever he opens his mouth. Am I right? I'm definitely right. The guy's a California 10. He's a smoke show. Home of Baba, the lovable elephant who becomes less lovable when you remember that in the books he married his cousin. That's right. <laughs> your childhood elephant hero was a cousin fucker. <laughs> I mean, I wrote hard jokes, yeah. you know, and I wrote jokes where his friend comes over and Gary's working in the kitchen and the friend says, do you need an extra pair of hands? And Gary says, that would double my sex life. <laughs> yeah, so, that's a hard joke in every sense of that... the word, isn't it? Um, <laughs> which is definitely odd, but at the same time, you do have to admit, the Achalteke is a beautiful horse. I mean, that's a super fuckable horse right there. <laughs> When a YouTube commenter says something willfully provocative, like saying, I've aged like an apple core in a dumpster, <laughs> or that I look like a fucking pickle with glasses. You wanted to be a Dickensian orphan, is that what you're saying? So. Uh, please, sir. <laughs> oh, you know, that's... It's, a, it's OK yeah. when I do it. Yeah, I, I know, I realise that. Um, <laughs> that's actually not OK. That's not all right. Uh, it's very easy to slip <laughs> into, and that really rolled off your tongue there, Nell. <laughs> I'm Thank very, you. Thank you for having very you happy to have you here. Thank you. How are you? I'm well. How are you? No, you're not well. You sound terrible. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Two to six weeks, uh, mate, and then die. Uh, and, so, and so that they don't waste... That's an odd thing to whoop. But uh, so, so that they don't waste too much... was, I believe, a working title for this show. It was either that or America's Saddest Home Videos with adult McLovin. <laughs> In fact, you're laughing too hard at that. Really? Which is weird. Yeah. Well, it's a weird thing to have. Well, it's, it's like weird. a kind of... It's like if you had a tail, that would be weird. Yeah. You don't need a tail. Yeah. Maybe at some point in your family's history it was helpful, but <laughs> I, I don't know. But you don't need it now, and it would be weird if you had a tail. The weird thing is when you watch... Yeah, we got to work on that graffiti, guys. Get out there and do it. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, I'm seeing... Well, every... don't, don't suggest... Yeah, get out there and write awful things on my face. Okay, uh, child labor laws aside. <laughs> uh, Mr. Geico Lizard, I want to say 15% on car insurance, but how can I when you are sleeping with my wife? <laughs> and second, the civil war that was taking place in China between the nationalist government led by Chiang Kai shek and the communists led by Mao Zedong ended. Now, spoiler alert, the communists won. <laughs> Congratulations to Mao. Holy shit!
That is not a functional use of language. That is a drunk driver crashing a pickup truck full of alphabet soup. <laughs> As one expert puts it, they're the middlemen of surveillance capitalism, which sounds like both a horrific profession and also a B-plus Jake Gyllenhaal thriller. That sounds like a great program for homeowners. And by the way, if you are under the age of 35, let me quickly clear up your confusion here. A homeowner is a person who owns their home. Into space travel. <laughs> okay, so first, $118 billion is not anybody's winnings. It is a computer error in capitalism. If you want to tell us that you don't consent to be robocalled, that's absolutely no problem. Just write a certified letter to the address that we buried somewhere within the first chapter of Moby Dick that's currently scrolling up the screen. You got that right. You got it. And finally, your brain says, hey, he opened with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris think I'm a racist. Did he ever close that loop or nah? <laughs> and brain, nah. Uh, Parenthetically, Tongue Deep in Sweet Green sounds like the title of a salacious tell-all by Shrek's lover. <laughs> now... Because, as many quickly pointed out, when you examine that photo, you realise not only is that not a lot of drugs, there is way less cash there than they are going out of their way to make it look. <laughs> Most of those are singles. That is $70 total. One commenter on the station's post said, Sick, this is Play School's My First Dealer set. <laughs> With another adding, who was the drug dealer? El Cheapo. Are you, are you, are you, but you do, you do, are, you're not a citizen of America. No, you sound, you sound like an immigration officer. <laughs> in America, right? What is it that, uh, what is it you hate about this country that you wouldn't pay attention to? <laughs> Talking about this, and when it comes to wasting your time with the plot of the Da Vinci Code, Johnny's answer to that is a big sloppy yes. So, <laughs> let's do this thing. Or oh, hold on, you don't know what you're getting into yet. <laughs> It's like if you said an animal died of otter erotic asphyxiation. <laughs> it's cute, although when you think the, about the actual consequences, it becomes quite sad. It, it has now been two and a half... Brit the British accent is usually worth about 80% more authority than we actually have. Back in the days of the Empire, it was 100. <laughs> have now gone, and basically, just like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. Sorry, George. I'm so sorry. I, I did it again. I'm sorry. You couldn't have caught me at a worse time, John. I'm about to go trick-or-treating. Oh, actually sounds really fun, George. Are you heading out with your kids? No. Oh. How frustrating it is when people say, this must have been fun, writing for Trump. Because it's, it's basically like saying to the residents of Elm Street, you're going to miss Freddy Krueger, aren't you? <laughs> what, what are you going to dream about now? I don't know, anything else. Jim? Yeah. If you put it up there, uh, and it's, it's David Geffen at sunset pointing out that he's self-isolating in, um, sure. in a way that I think means. might be genuinely revolution-inducing. I think if the race to a class war has begun, I think he might have just fired the starter's pistol. Is Tampa... Was Tampa as funny? As you are, I'm British. I cannot cope with those kind of temperatures in any capacity. That is too much heat for me. I don't, my body shuts down at that point. We haven't been that hot since we were conquering parts of India. For the poor in West Virginia. We're gonna be working everything we can to create good opportunities. Wow. I am not sure which stage of capitalism we've reached if we're now kayaking out to a politician's yacht to beg him to help the poor, but it's got to be one of the last ones. It's along with talk a bit slower and this guy's a furry, right? And that's my business, but I will say this, the clues are all there. <laughs> But again, as for judging a book by its cover, please carry on and enjoy Neon Genesis Evangelion, subs not dubs, till the day they put you in the ground. But look, instead of... I don't love that. And not just because it is the worst thing to come out of a Kennedy's mouth since the back of a Kennedy's head, but also because the truth is, holy shit, decades of grinding isn't exactly a phrase that you want to associate with a vital piece of our power grid. It's barely a phrase you want to hear at your grandparents' 50th anniversary. Personality changer, this. Yes. I feel very dainty. Yes! <laughs> Do you hear the people sing? Sing. Chances of winning the presidency in serious danger. Carlos Danger. Danger! Come here, Wayne! A what do we needs, need? What it needs what is need? a 27-minute, exhaustively researched, commercial-free, properly enunciated truth bath. So that is what you fuckers are going to get. Okay. Are you guys gay? Yes. Yeah. Do you care about John Oliver? No. Okay, all right, thank you, all right. Bongo Christ, 
that had better be real. Yeah, it better had have been real. Glad that was real, otherwise GQ has a problem. Because you get to repeat a name like Bongo Christ, you do not get to make up a name like Bongo Christ. And so just, just a, a small word of advice to Indian news networks. This is not the most relaxing way <laughs> to watch television. <laughs> the only thing that this is good for is potentially putting your elderly viewers in the hospital.